So my name is Phil Eichmiller. Phil is a senior QA engineer on the Fusion team. He's an expert at teaching Fusion, has taught numerous classes at Autodesk University, and continues to teach Inventor and Fusion to students at his local community college. He is another user that is stuck. How, how would you unstuck his or her design? <laughs> so I'm making this mount for a disc and I accidentally put hole in the cylinders that are uneven and need to fix them by moving the holes up. However, I already combined the objects and put a lot more work put in a lot more work and don't want to have to do it again so what's the best way of patching the holes or moving them without losing progress that is an absolutely great question and and it, it gets to something that's really key about how i teach fusion if the holes were sketched out in a parametric way to begin with then you could just go edit the location of the holes earlier in the timeline and, and move them around. This model has a timeline. So in theory, the holes were positioned by some command, either a sketch or the hole command, and you theoretically could go edit that. Now, that's not always the easiest thing to do. You could have thousands of features scrolling around and the timeline's not that easy. It's just a lot of work, right? And all you need to do is move the hole a little bit. And so there's this balance where you're saying, well, maybe at the end of the timeline, the hole just moves a little bit. And Fusion has some tools for that. Let's just work at the end of the timeline. And this is the way I like to think of it. The end of the timeline is what you ship to your customers, whether it's the, the CNC operator that's gonna cut the part or your actual customers or whatever. It's that end of the timeline is the complete definition of the thing. So it kinda, if you make a couple of little moves at the end that it's okay, because the end of the timeline is really what you're after. And so let's see what that looks like. This is all about being practical and just getting it done. The top question is, is, well, can I just recreate the holes? So Fusion is really tolerant about deleting faces. So if I just select a cylindrical face, and in this example, it's not the, I'm just using the same part I used for the sheet metal thing, but it's the same thing over again, um, because all we're talking about is a cylindrical face. We'll just hit delete and it goes away. Then you could, um, you know, you could make a sketch and you could put in um, put in a whole point center and then, you know, dimension it, you know, to your heart's content. Like, where is this thing? Um, right. You could even turn on automatic sketching um, to help you finish it out. So say, okay, so it's got a location. I don't know if you like that location or not. Finish the sketch and then uh, go back to placing your hole based on that. Right. So there's your new hole whatever size and shape and location you want it to be. Now backing up just a little bit, um, that's a pretty super formal way. There's an even less formal way, which is uh, using the, the move command. Let me go over here to the solid tab because I'm used to this. Here's the move command. Now move will do a lot of stuff. Move moves bodies by default. It moves components and faces and sketch objects and stuff like that. The best way to use move is just to pick the thing that you want to move and then type M for move. The hot key is M. So I'll pick the thing I want to move. I'll type M and I can now move it around all I want. I can use, uh, I could use absolute values. So let's say I, I didn't want it to move in the X direction, but I wanted it to move in the Y direction, 12 millimeters or maybe less than that, whatever. You get the idea. Um, there we go. So the move command, you can give it an absolute delta, or you could decide to pick something like uh, any of these other options, um, like point to point or point to position. So if you know the center of the hole is moving to zero, 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 you could, you could type that in, that kind of a thing. So either just delete it or move it. Easy breezy.